Hello, Bumpy Mix Quickums here, and I am going to be continuing the weekly run series. That's right, this is week 7, episode 4. Three has come before, one is remaining. I can't imagine I'm going to survive more than one more episode. So let's get this going. Before I go down to the next level, which was my original intent, I believe I'm going to go check to see if this picture is attainable. So let me go do that. Alright, so we ended our turn. It looks delicious, but it is only a picture. It's true, it's a delicious picture, but we're going down! Well, maybe it's based off of what we've done in other levels? I I'm not sure how the normal progress report is, so we'll see. You see a standing figure in the corner, his movement's decisive. You aren't entirely convinced the Marine knows how to use that Grenadier-class weapon. You can't help but notice the large stack of ammunition on the ground. Do you take the survivor with you? Yeah, I do. Alright, so we have one more person to add to uh, the mix. We have Lance Corporal Cobb, we have Private Salty, and we have L our Lance Corporal Steady. I want to say Lieutenant Corporal, doesn't make sense. We're not going to go that route. Alright, so we are still alive, ironically enough. <clears throat> and we need to check to see what his range is. It is three, so he's essentially a replacement for our last uh, grenadier. And that is okay. I don't hate that. What I am not particularly fond of is the fact that most of our people are pretty darn hurt. Alright, so let's end our turn here. And we hear all sorts of horrible creatures and things and stuff wanting to eat our souls. Off to the side, we're going to try to ninja the thing. Did not work. Bigger, stronger, longer. What about faster? Eh? 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 Creepy. Alright, so we're going to open the door and... Lo and behold, there is nothing in the room. Which means that we can get our grenadier, grenadierizing. Yes, I used it again. I know. Shameful, to be sure. Alright, Particle Bombardment. Salty temporarily gains four action points. Which is a very, very good thing. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze. Hopefully I muted you correctly. We shall see. And apparently there are robots. More than just one on the other side of that door. However, our weapon is dry. Apparently this guy doesn't have six shots like our previous Grenadier. Which, well, that's okay I suppose. Alright, so we are going to guard. We're going to get him also into guard mode. Hopefully he's the... Oh, he's the two. Of course he is. Lieutenant Cobb is... Or Lance Corporal Cobb is always the number two. Well, we are still alive. Being alive is one of our goals. And we are out of uh, maneuverment points. That's right, maneuverment. It's a term. I just invented it. Look it up. And boom. Oh, that thing has a four movement. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, we're going to go into guard mode, and we're going to end our turn again. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get at least 10 or 15 minutes out of this. I, I just have this feeling that things are not going to go very good for us. That eventually we will die a horrible, horrible death. That is my assessment of how this is all going to work out. Okay, we'll get one shot on him. And we didn't do that much, so now we're going to eat some blasts from this guy, which is really unfortunate. I thought it skipped to our turn already. I was like, wait a minute, really? Apparently, that's not how it's going to go down. Alright, well, he cannot kill people yet, so... There we have it. We are still alive. We have taken no additional damage, which is, well, pretty good. And unfortunately, our guy only has three shots. Our new guy, Salty. As opposed to, I believe it was six that the other guy had. So we will have to make it do with what we have. We have not located the elevator yet. Now we do have 
a few PDAs, I believe it's called, that, well, I really, really do not need. So, that being said, I'm going to utilize one right now. It seems that 13 intruders are left. That is a lot of enemies. So, what we're going to do is move here, take a shot, take him down. And we'll get out of the way. This guy doesn't seem to have much. Well, it looks like we're at 100% range here. Thopters are swift, but easily put down. One good smack can slow them considerably. Alright, let's see if we can get one good smack on them. And what we're going to do is put our buddy here into guard mode. And we're going to end our turn. We will see what they send at us. Nothing. Palm. Palm. Particle bombardment. Salty temporarily gains four more action points. Ha ha! Alright, well. We're going to get some oomph out of our action points. I think I'm going to go into guard mode again. I will move him over. So he got four or three. He's got four. We're going to put him in guard mode as well. And we're even going to put uh, this guy in the guard mode. So we have a lot of guarding people guarding things with guard mode. We'll see how it all plays out. So, now we wait for the computer to make their turn. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Alright. So there's some pain that we just enabled upon uh, the enemy. And I... Apparently I'm going to finish that guy off. Going to reload. We have 15 clips with this guy. This guy is ridiculously stupid with ammo. And there we go. And now we have to start breaking down some walls. So I guess we do that in the next turn. Unless they themselves decide to break down the walls and come after us. So we'll see. We will see how it plays out. Hmm. They're still moving. So whatever is behind this wall is going to be quite terrifying. So they're still moving. So there's like 12 people in this little room up here. Uh, it's going to be somewhat problematic, I dare say. So, we're going to reload. And we're going to get... our buddy Cobb over here. To take point. Get this guy in the back. And we'll end our turn. <laughs> Excuse me, we'll break through the wall the next turn. Then we will see what awaits us on the other side. Hopefully it's nothing that we can't handle. Ooh, they just blew something up. So apparently there was a C4 door over there. i rather like that. Alright. There we have it. One. Two. And I believe we're going to actually fall back. I'd love to take a shot, but I don't think I can do that and escape, so... Alright, so we'll go into guard mode in case somebody has some ridiculously amazing luck or aim or something and they get within range of us. do now is put him in guard mode to hopefully prevent this guy from being able to close with us, but it doesn't look like he's going to really attempt. Oh, he did, and he died for it. So there we have it. Another victorious uh, skirmish for us, which I rather like. Hmm. Two down he goes. 
And in theory... We go into guard mode there. I'll put this guy into guard mode here. That would be a bad idea. So, we'll just have him wait. Alright, so let's see what happens. He moved, he died. And slowly we are succeeding with our overwatching abilities. It looks like there's one of those big robot guys to our right. I thought I saw 120 over here. Well, if that is the case, well, yep, indeed it is. We are going to have to be very, very careful with what we're doing. Alright, so we are going to guard with him. And with him. Uh-oh. Somebody from our left side came out. Hmm. Oh no, we have no bullet uh, bulatos left. And either of those two. Well, that is unfortunate. So, that means that he is going to have to do the work. And he did. He did well. What was that noise? Pretty much our immediate and imminent death. Just, just in case you were wondering. Alright. So at this point... Goodbye. Well, we are in a little bit of a... problematic situation here. I'm not entirely sure how to deal with this. I think what I wanted it's not a good it's not a good choice here. Something to locate elevator. Don't really seem to do much for me. And I did that, which again I'm not sure what that did for me. We don't have a lot of bullets to play with here. But he does have a lot of AP that he uses, which is good. So we'll see. If that guy moves out on our boy, maybe... Ooh! No! That was terrible! Well, that didn't work very well. Alright, well, I have a feeling that things are not going to be going so well for us any longer. So we're just going to start lobbing grenades and things at this guy. I hope that he eventually dies. I'm highly doubting it, but you never know. Yeah, that's about it. Hmm. Well... We are out of ammunition, we are out of grenades, we are pretty much out of luck. So, herein lies our death. I suppose we can prolong it a little bit. Who knows, maybe we'll find something to actually keep us going. I did find a health kit. And another grenade. He still seems very, very angry with us. Oh, and there's another robot. So we're going to use the health kit, I guess. End the turn. And this should be our demise. No, not yet. Oh, we'll lob another grenade, followed by another grenade. And we will break through this wall. We will kite him until we can kite no longer. I'm not really sure what other strategy I can employ here, but I'd like to, like I said, give you guys as much of a run as I can. 
Unfortunately, I didn't think that would involve actually running from enemies. Oh, yay, he loses two armor. Why not? Because, you know, he totally needed to lose two armor. He wasn't already in enough trouble. Live, Salty, live! Or maybe, in this other room, we'll get something amazing that will save our lives. I highly doubt it, but maybe. It is possible. Another grenade. Ooh, and finally some ammo. I don't hate that. I can't say I'm a massively huge fan of where we're situated right now. But I do like the idea of actually having ammo. Alright, so we're going to end our turn. Perhaps we can get behind uh, the Hulk. Because, you know, with the Hulk suit, there are things that we can continue to do here, guys. Oh, but he's looking right at us. See if you can get him to move down. I'm hoping he moves toward us. I'm in range. I'm gonna lob a grenade on him. Oh no. We might have just got ourselves killed. We did, and that's game over. Well, it looked like we had potentially a way of coming back from that. I made a mistake. Breaking down the wall took a little bit more than I anticipated, but hey. It was a good run. I got pretty far. I even made it into additional decks, which I didn't know existed. So we were on le level 2, 3 of the engineering deck. After completing the first um, command deck, I believe it was. So, to me, this is definitely a win overall. It obviously isn't the game defeated, but not bad. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's weekly run. I'm sorry it took, it took a few days spread out to actually get this up and running. And, well, I gave you two runs, so hopefully you guys can appreciate that. I will try to do that with any future weekly runs. If it's a real short game, and it's only going to be one episode, I will give you more than one episode. I, I can promise you that. So, thank you guys for joining me. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, well, until next time, guys, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>